Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Felicity from Zanitza Tarot, the place for emotional healing and gain wisdom from tarot to navigate your life. And so, uh, before we get started, I would like to tell you the energies at play for the year 2016. So basically, in year 2016, there are two very very powerful energies at play and uh, there are some points that you can remember in order to work with these powerful energies so that not only will you not worry about your future you also benefit a lot when you focus and work hard with the energies so uh, there are some key points for 2016 I'm going to tell you the uh, 2016 forecast in general so this is uh, generally looking at the energies so what are the themes for 2016 mm, first number one it's all about balance balance every area of your life balance all areas of your life pay attention to many areas of your life and second point is have courage to face judgment and go easy on yourself and on others when it comes to judging yourself or when it comes to judging others and next point is you have to uh, pay attention to discerning discernment the information that you are getting into and know that you have the ability to distinguish the information of the truth and the information of the illusion and next point is to live an authentic life so now um, I'm going to explain to you each point in details. So, what are the energies that are helping us to fulfill the points that I mentioned above? And the energies, one energy is carrying the powerful water element. The other energy is carrying the powerful fire element. So, at first glance, you may wonder, okay, fire and water do not mix well, right? But I understand that we can see from nature, actually, fire and water mix very, very well. They coexist very well. Do you remember and have you ever come up with the news that scientists have discovered volcano underneath the sea bed underneath the sea yes we can find volcano under the sea so volcano when they first uh, you know erupt the, the volcano erupt and there are some molten rocks coming up right so uh, it, it's it's hot it's it's warm and then it change it into the solid form right so uh, the volcano is the representation of the fire element underneath the sea and then so here you can see that how the ocean can really contain the fire elements they coexist with each other they are not seek to destroy and then how do you find the water element in the fire element? You know, when you light a candle, when you light a fire, there must be some air, right? Air to help the fire to go, keep going, right? So uh, when you notice that, when you know about this, air contains water. Air contains certain amount of water we can find humidity in the air right so this is how you can find water in the fire element 
it's from the fire, from the light, from candle light. And then you can find the fire element in the ocean. That is the volcano beneath the ocean. So fire elements and water elements, they seek to build, they seek to coexist. That's why um, there's no need to worry too much about conflicts. The only conflicts that we have is we do not understand how the energy is at work. Once you understand, you will feel confident about dealing with these two energies. And of course, it does not mean that the lower vibrations will not manifest. Of course, lower vibrations will manifest because after all, this is the 3D world. This is the reality. How can you um, use this energy in your life? It's about balance. So uh, how do you know that you are out of balance in certain areas of your life? Uh, suddenly, maybe, for example, you feel that you will question, you will doubt about the work that you are doing. For example, if you are a workaholic, you have been working 24-7 or even you go to bed, you think about your business, you think about your job, and then suddenly it hits you, the energy will hit you, and you will question about what is the meaning of working so hard? Is it just for the job promotion? Is it for uh, to get the praise from your colleagues or from your boss? And then you suddenly will try to question all the things that you have been doing. And that's how you know that you need to focus, you need to pay attention to other areas of your life. S suddenly, maybe you need to go out with your friends, you need to spend time with your family, or even you need to uh, pay attention to, to spend time to cultivate your hobbies, your interests. You know, or take care of your health. So, uh, take a look at uh, what what area of your life you have been neglecting, because when you doubt what you have been doing, when you have question in your mind, it's time to look at which area of your life is neglect is being neglected by you. All right. And so, um, as I said, these two energies are seeking to promote the you know to to seek to really promote humanity to help humanity to move forward and we also need to eliminate fear we need to get rid of the fear within us and then we can face we have the courage to face everything not only about the uncertainty of the future, we have the courage to face other people's judgment. You know, um, in the year of 2016, some of you may face the judgment of others. All the judgments coming up is not here to make you uh, feel uncomfortable. They are here to make you aware of the things that you are hiding, they are here to make you uh, to improve your life and to improve yourself to bring out the best potential within yourself. You know, for example, uh, remember when you're in school, sometimes the teachers will check whether you understand something and uh, the teacher may ask you a question in front of the class. Do you think that the teacher just to uh, make you uncomfortable, just to put you in the spotlight. Actually, most of the teachers just want to see whether you understand something or the teachers just want you to pay attention to yourself to bring out the potential within you, right? So when you notice that people around you mention about the things that you have been neglecting or the things that you have been avoiding, and maybe you have been avoiding changes within you. Maybe you are not aware about uh, certain things about yourself or you are not aware about your potential. People around you or situations will come to you to help you to pay attention to the things that uh, you are not aware of. 
So maybe at the beginning you will feel that oh, people are judging me. What I'm going to do? I feel uncomfortable at the beginning. You will feel that, but then you have to realize that the things and situations are here to help you to develop yourself, develop your potentials. And then when you are aware, you will put a lot of hard work in improving yourself, improving your life, improving the situations, even bring benefits to your future. And then, so、uh, we understand that when we point out the things to others, we are not actually judging others, right? We just、uh, want to bring、uh, the benefits to others. And so,、um, when you feel that there is some kind of judgment going on within yourself, go easy on yourself. At the same time,、um, we have to feel、uh, the same for others. When we are starting to judge others, we need to go easy on others because no one is perfect, and yes, we have to accept ourselves. At the same time, we need to accept others, and so go easy on yourself. Go easy on others when it comes to judging ourselves or others. And next point is about discernment. It's about Um, trying to find the truth from the information that is given. You know, sometimes not everything presented to us is true. Sometimes the information presented to us may have some kind of illusion. So we have to really analyze some information. Use our mind. Use our own intuition. Use our conversation with our soul, and use our conversation with with the higher higher power in order to see whether the information presented to us is really true or there's some kind of、uh, misunderstanding, misleading, or some kind of illusion that is waiting to be found out. And next point is about living. An authentic life. Are you feeling honest with your life? Are you living、uh, aligned with your soul, or、uh, you are trying to follow what other people's expectation or what other people think that you should do? So、um, try to、uh, let go of the expectations of others have on you. Ask yourself, what is your soul is telling you to do, or、uh, what about the inner voice? What, what does, what do you want in your future? What do you want? What do you want to manifest in your future? You know, sometimes maybe、uh, the society may expect, you know, if you study hard, maybe you get certain kind of qualifications, then you should go into a certain field, right? But suddenly, what about you discover that you just want to garden, you just want to go gardening, or you just want to have a handmade shop, you just want to、um, planting planting a tree or planting something, or you just want to serve humanity. What about this? So you have to ask yourself, what do you want, and what brings you joy when you are doing something. When you do something that brings you joy, and not just focus on how much you earn or how much praise you will praise you have, or or because you have studied, you get the qualifications, and you should focus on certain kind of field, and you are living for others really. You are not living for your true potential. When you、uh, try to get rid of all the expectation. All the、uh, burdens that have been imposed on you, you feel you feel free, you you feel free to do the the things that brings you joy. So,、um, try to ask yourself what you need to do in order to bring you joy, and and not just focus on、uh, the material gain or some kind of praise or family expectations. 
And yes, we are all responsible for ourselves and ourselves first. If you cannot make ourselves joyful, we cannot spread the light and we cannot spread happiness when we feel that we are not living our own full potential, right? So do just one thing. Do one thing that you like, even though it's just like a developing a hobby. Then it's the something that you like to do. And then slowly try to move the hobby into your professions, or to build up something that you like. So I、uh, I hope that everyone will have a joyful and happy 2016. Hello, this is the、uh, December outlook for the sign of Cancer. So here we go. This is the card that describes the general energy at play for you, Cancer, in. December. It seems that December,、um, you may get a little bit of authority in some area of your life.、Um, maybe some of you may get a promotion, or some of you will get some kind of responsibility in life. But at the same time, you feel that okay,、uh, you have a little bit of freedom. But at the same time, somehow you feel. There may be some kind of restriction or limitation going on. Feels like okay, you have a say in this area of your life, and you don't have a say in another area of your life. Or suddenly, you feel that you're given some kind of responsibility, but then suddenly this kind of responsibility limits your freedom or limits some time of、uh, area of your life, and. So what are you going to do with this situation? What you can do is to try to focus on the things that you can change, or you can try to focus on the things or situation that you can adapt it to. All right, and you definitely have a say in certain situation for sure. And if you focus on the things that you can change. You can focus on the things that you have a say to, then it's not limited. It's not limitation. One hundred percent. You still have a say in certain things, right? Of course, when there's a coming of responsibility, at the same time you will feel, okay, oh, this responsibility is very heavy, or maybe you will question whether you can handle it. For sure, whatever the universe is sending you, for sure you can handle it. All right, the universe always sends something that you can handle. You need to find out the confidence within yourself to handle everything. And then, yeah, suddenly you may feel, oh, there's some kind of a restriction of movement, restricting you. Okay, you feel you are not、uh, free. You don't have the freedom, or you feel the sense of、uh, limitation, or you're feeling you are not free. Alright, but then your heart can be free if you focus on the things that you can do for yourself. You can break out of this kind of limitation. Alright, and. Yes,、um, maybe there's some kind of、uh, concerning family or yes, I I do feel that there's a you know family life or 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 things are、uh, are、uh, putting some kind of pressure or putting some kind of responsibility on you, and you have to believe in yourself, trust yourself, and trust the universe, and. When it comes to the area of career, you see that、uh, you're trying to connect everything in your workplace. You're trying to fit everything in your workplace. You see a lot of potentials in your workplace or in the field in the career, or you're trying to connect what you have done before with the present moment. Maybe you have gained some kind of experience. You have some kind of qualifications, so you are trying to put everything at work to connect 
all this kind of thing in order to work out the plans for you in your career field. And it's full of potential, full of brightness, and full of hope as well. It's all very good. And yes, there's a sense of uh, trying to tidy up something, trying to tie up the loose end, trying to move something, you know. This is like uh, uh, moving, moving something, trying to make everything into one piece. Okay, and so much potential, so much hope, and so many expectations. How are you trying to fit everything in? You have to use your imagination, use your intuition, and listen to your inspiration as well. And yes, and try to take things slowly. And also, um, make a plan, make some kind of a schedule as well. When you have a certain schedule, you are more likely to get very orderly, systematic things done. Okay, so try to create some kind of a system because your schedule, your scheduling, your uh, filing system, um, um, you, your your daily routine can help you to see things, to put things in order. So try to put things in order, try to prioritize things, and try to uh, put some kind of routine at the same time and fit things in. Yes, keep a schedule, keep some kind of routine, fit things in, prioritize. Put things in a very, very systematic order, and that's how you can handle things. And also, okay, it comes to family or friends. And it seems that, okay, concerning financial situation, concerning um, some kind of inheritance, maybe because of finance, maybe because of some kind of uh, dividing of inheritance from your ancestor, from a family. There may be a point that you will stay away from someone, from your family, or you stay away from your friends. There may be a time of letting go, and it's a good start for you. Sometimes, you know, even though people are dearest to us, if there's some, some kind of a disagreement, you know, that there are things that you cannot ask others to agree with you, then you have to go to your own way. Because sometimes family ex expectation or, or, you know, responsibility that is placed to you, it limits you and it's good to get away from certain situation, get away from certain expectation from others. And then later on, you can reunite with them again. Because sometimes you really need to break free in order to create some path for you. Not everyone can see that, not everyone can understand you when it comes to uh, planning something, when it comes to certain projects or certain type of financial situation. When it comes to this point, you have to find your own way, break away from certain family member or relative, and then you create something for yourself. So when it comes to, um, you know, if dividing some kind of inheritance and try to you know try to keep it fair but if there's some kind of disagreement in dividing the finance or in dividing some kind of inheritance and there's a break point here no 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 one can come up with fully uh, pleasant solution here and then 
there's a break point really and there's a saying goes like if you if you let go you can create something new so it's time to uh, see your path as your own and then respect your own path respecting others to respect your own path is sometimes is to break free from a family member for a while and then return later rather than keep going on and then keep the conflicts within all right so um when it comes to this point let go with respect and uh, yes when it comes to the area of romance it seems that it's shining bright to you you can give and receive the nurturing energy from universe and then you receive the nurturing energy you are sending out the nurturing energy to others as well you are the caretaker as well and of course you will be keeping a balance between romance and the practical side of life so it is like you are quite you are taking a practical approach in life you are taking a practical approach in the area of romance in this month it seems like um what you give out you ask for the return as well it's very normal it's good to keep it in balance you know when you give out something it's good to receive something back right so it's like a balance of give and take and also the balance between the practical side of a relationship and also the romantic side of a relationship you will be able to keep a really good balance in this month or if you're trying to get pregnant this month is a good month to get pregnant if you get pregnant this month there's a chance that you will have a son of course please do not get pregnant just because you want a son get pregnant just because you want a child all right so uh, maybe some of you will find out that you are carrying a son within you so this is really really good nurturing energy helping you to succeed in your relationship i hope that you enjoyed this reading so merry christmas see you next month bye